Hello everyone, welcome to Bajwi's exam prep. So today I am going to tell you if you are preparing for NTRO, then what should be your strategy. So before going into the detail of the NTRO, uh, let me remind you that the start date of the registration for the post of N, uh, technical assistant and the aviator in NTRO recruitment 2022, uh, that was 31 December 2022. And uh, the end date of registration is uh, 20 of January uh, 2023. So you are still having around uh, 10 to 15 days uh, for fulfilling the form. So if you are not aware about this recruitment process, then just go through it once. And I will also brief you that what are the selection procedure, uh, what is the criteria, what are the number of posts, etc. And remember that the date of examination is 5th of March. So after the gate examination, you will be having one month to prepare for this exam. And this exam is relatively much easier than the gate exam, obviously, because uh, for the technical exam, the gate is the toughest exam. Now, uh, let me tell you about myself. This is Saket Verma and I have done MTech from IIT Guwahati and I'm having more than 12 year experience. So I have cracked many PSU exam as well. And that is why I'm still eligible uh, to guide you for the different PSU exam. Okay. And uh, this is the Maha Marathon series that uh, is running in this particular channel. So you can watch this Maha Marathon series and that has already been started from 3rd of January. So just subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it yet. And uh, there is a mega workshop where the Abhinav Negri sir will discuss about the seven mantra for the beginners uh, to become a topper in the gate 2024. And this workshop is on 15th of January at 12.30 p.m. in the Biogis exam prep uh, application. So you just download the app and go and register yourself uh, for this particular workshop. So there is a scholarship test also running. Uh, so uh, in the 8th of January, we have the scholarship test. So you can appear if you are preparing for Gate 24, then you can just uh, get the scholarship up to 90% if you appear in this particular scholarship test. So register yourself. All the details in is given in the description. So you just go to the description and see what is your requirement. General aptitude 15 marks in just 15 hours that is also coming soon by the Rakesh sir and uh, math for mathematics by the Rakesh sir and the Ankit sir we are going to have the session uh, which is also a non-stop marathon in this particular channel. So uh, there is a gate and ESE full test is also so you can uh, go into the and uh, go in the description and check the details about this okay. So, uh, first of all, let me tell you what is uh, NTRO, that is National Technical Research Organization and it has the two posts this time uh, as they are recruiting for these two particular posts and first is the aviator, okay, this is the aviator and second is the technical assistant. For aviator, we uh, the classification here, you can see the pay scale, you can see the number of posts, the number of posts is 22, but for the technical assistant, for the B and uh, M Tech and uh, MSc students. So this is the pay scale and uh, the number of posts for CSE is 81 and for the electronics and electronics and instrumentation 79 posts are there. So that is good number of posts you can fight for. It is worth fighting for this number of posts. So let me explain you what is the, uh, the scheme of exam. So there will be two stages. First stage, it will have the written examination, uh, which is the OMR base. So you have to go to the offline center and you have to, uh, you know, appear for the exam. So there are number of cities. You can check that in the detailed notification also. So just uh, briefing this, that uh, the technical post, uh, for the technical assistant post, we have the 100 questions. Okay, so we have the 100 questions, 80 questions from your subject and 20 questions from the mental ability and the reasoning. So there are uh, two, uh, 100 questions and uh, 200 marks. Uh, one question will have two marks and there is a negative marking also. Okay, and the total duration is 150 minutes. So in the 150 minutes, you have to solve 120, uh, sorry, total of 100 questions. So in the 150 minutes, you have to solve the 100 questions. Okay, and uh, for the aviator also, that is the same. And uh, there is a negative marking. You can see that this is the negative marking of 0 0.5 marks for each wrong answer. And uh, stage one is the written exam uh, for both the posts. 
as per the shift mentioned so in the morning shift in the single day we are having the technical assistant and the uh, aviator post uh, examination so in the morning session you will have the technical assistant in the afternoon session we have the aviator so uh, the details syllabus also i will tell you and after shortlisting in the written exam after qualifying the written exam you will have the interview interview will be of 50 marks and the candidates who are shortlisted on the basis of their performance in the stage 1 shall only be called for the stage 2 and the interview will be conducted at the new delhi only okay so it will it is it, this department comes under pmo so uh, it will be having the interview on in the city delhi only okay and then uh, the selection procedure is minimum qualifying marks in the stage 1 shall be 40% for the unreserved and 35% for the OBS and EWS and 30% for the other categories. The candidates who shortlisted on this particular stage, uh, they, for the interview they will call in the ratio of 1 ratio 3 and out of the 50 marks in the interview, the minimum qualifying marks is 40%. Okay, so at least 40% marks you have to get to get uh, minimum qualifying marks. Obviously, the cutoff will go around 85 to 90 percent marks of the total, but uh, uh, the minimum qualifying is 40 only. So, you just uh, don't need to see for the minimum marks, you have to get the maximum marks, and that will be around 85 to 90 percent for the uh, clearing the written examination. Okay, and this is the syllabus for the electronics students. Uh, so, you can see that the general science, current affair, quantitative aptitude, and reasoning, and data communication. So, this part is for your mental ability and verbal ability and then uh, we have the data communication and computer network and HTML, DHTML, W, FTP, concept of OS. So, this is operating this is computer network part that you have to study. So, this is the first subject you can say and the second subject is electronic devices and circuits. Then the third subject you can have the network filters, transmission lines, transistor amplifier then the fourth subject is your principle of communication okay and the troubleshooting and the maintenance of the electronic equipment and the transmitter and the receiver then the fourth subject is your electromagnetic emt part where they are asking for the em wave and the fiber optic then the fifth subject you have to prepare is satellite communication and uh, sixth uh, you can say is uh, is is the part of communication only the digital modulation technique will be coming for the part of the communication only and then you have to prepare the sixth part that is your cellular mobile communication and uh, finally you have the radar system and the signal processing so these number of subjects you have to prepare for this particular exam if you are from ec and for computer science this is the syllabus you can go it once okay you can take the screenshot also so i will just clear this okay i will clear this so you can take the screenshot of the syllabus also and these are the few questions you can see for the electronics students so which type of questions will come okay so these are the few questions again you can take the screenshot of that and you can see that uh, from uh, the topic like edc communication and radar which kind of questions and from the signal transmission uh, which kind of questions can come and again for the signal processing we have the fir filter design so you will get the question from here also the digital modulation technique you will see the questions from this topic also so these are the questions so if you want to prepare for this then there is a book uh, in the if you will search in the amazon or somewhere then you will get the book online you just go and uh, purchase that book that is from the gk publishers for the ntro you can practice such type of questions from that particular book you can also go and check the technical assistant post for the different uh, examinations like isro and any other exam like uh, drdo if they have the technical assistant post and if they conduct the separate exam for this particular technical assistant post then you can go and check their paper also so for the isro it is easily available you can go check and practice such type of questions so this is it for the my side so this is the preparation strategy that you have to go and uh, see the previous year papers of the technical assistant and the syllabus i have covered so don't forget to subscribe for the channel by exam prep gate and esc double e ecin and uh, there is a uh, separate uh, website also and the telegram group to get this pdf Thank you.